How is it going everyone? This is MedCat and today I'm going to teach you a few quick trigonometric tricks to be able to calculate certain sine, cosine, and maybe even tangent values on test day. So without further ado, let's jump into it. On the left, I've drawn a 45-45-90 degree triangle. This is something that will be relatively easy to memorize and we can do pretty simply. Uh, we do want to remember that in a triangle, and this is a throwback way back to geometry or maybe algebra 2 from high school, where the angle of a triangle will correspond in size to the side it's opposite from. So this side right here will correspond or be proportionate in size to this 45 degree angle. Similarly, this side will be proportionate to this angle. That lets us know that both of these will have the same value, so both of these will be 1. Okay. And with that logic, we can tell that this angle right here will correspond to a side of the triangle that is greater than 1. And this happens to be root 2, so square root of 2. So that does it for the 45, 45, 90 triangle. Now let's break it uh, down with the 30, 60, 90 triangle. Across from the 30, we'll start with 1 here, so this will be our smallest side. And then going up in size, if we start with our 60 degree angle, we'll get a side that's a little bit bigger. This will be root 3. And then finally, we get our biggest side, as in any right triangle, will be our 90 degree angle. And this will correspond to a value of 2. Finally, once we memorize these, and we remember our rule, so katoa, which corresponds to sine is opposite over hypotenuse, cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse, and tangent is opposite over adjacent, we can calculate any of these values. So let's say on a problem on Snell's law, you get a value that you need to calculate of cosine of 45 degrees. So via SOHCAHTOA, we know we need to take adjacent over hypotenuse. So if we find one of these, we'll see that 45 degrees is here, our adjacent side is 1, and our hypotenuse is root 2. So we'll write 1 divided by root 2. Okay. And then let's say we want to calculate something like sine of 60 degrees, so something a little bit different. Here, what we can do is opposite over hypotenuse, so root 3 over 2. Now we're kind of stuck here because we don't know exactly how to calculate root 2 and root 3. So what I recommend that people do is they memorize the values root 3 and root 2, or their approximations, that is. So their approximations are going to be about 1.7 and 1.4. Okay. So basically, that just means that if we take 1.7 times 1.7, it will be approximately 3. And if we take 1.4 times 1.4, it will be approximately 2. So how that will look in our calculations is something like this, where we have 1 over 1.4. And if sine 60 degrees here, we'll have 1.7 over 2. Now for them, we don't need exact values, but we can approximate these as about 0.6 to 0.7, it actually comes out to be about more uh, closer to 0.7 for cosine of 45 degrees. And then for sine of 60, this works out to be about 0.85, okay. a little bit higher than that. But um, that approximation definitely works for us. So that's how you can approximate those values on test day. That's it for today's MedCat video. Feel free to hit the like button, subscribe, and check out my comprehensive amino acid playlist, which can be found in the link in the description below.